Okay, so hi, welcome back. Um, let's see where we're at now. We've got the inside piece all ready to roll. I have made the second little booklet. This is made out of some stiffer papers. More for painting on if you want. There's an envelope inside. And um, some decorative paper, some coffee paper. And um, so what I'm going to... I um, have cut that to size and I have cut this edge straight off and um, it's a little bit smaller so that it fits when it's, the book is closed. So um, again, Nick did it different. I'm doing it different than Nick, but she does have one in here. And so I'm wanting this book to be able to come in and out. Um, she sewed it straight in, but now that we have that solid piece on there, or that I have, me and the mouse in my pocket, the way that I'm going to attach this is just with an elastic that'll go around the back and through the book center, like that. And then I will just tie that, and then that, piece, that whole book can come in and out as if I choose. So that's how it's going to look on the back. It's tied in the center. And it's just tight enough, but if I want to remove that whole piece, it can come right out. All right, so now I'm going to make sure that that is, um, the elastic will be glued. Oops. So I want to make sure that that elastic is glued on there. And then this is going to get glued into the book covers um, right here back to this stuff and as I find papers that I really want to make sure that I save out um, for another part in the book I just put them aside so they don't use them by accident um, okay so I'm gonna um, work on this a little bit more we have a few things that were um, added that I have to include so that we are still sort of making the same lap book as Nick. So let me get those pages ready and I'll show you what I've got. Okay, so I'm trying to put that file folder in that she had. Um, sorry, I realized that my camera view screen shows different than what the camera's taking because the camera's more on the left so I'm sorry about the last video where I was a little close or off screen and I'm trying to um, improve so what I'm talking about now is that she has a piece that she sticks onto here and it's the file folder and um, she then sews it down here on just on the inside actually and then this will flip up as a folder so let me work out how I'm going to do that because I, I'm, I'm pretty large here and sorry I'm large here and um, I like the green showing a little bit of green coming through but I don't want to cover up what I've got there because I really like that piece that's on the angle so I'm going to try and cut this piece that I'm going to use for the file folder I'm going to try and cut it um, more in this area so I'm going to make that um, file folder label part more here and I'm going to try and make it a little bit bigger all right so I've got my punch board but also before I decide to punch I have to figure out how big I actually want that now do I want that to come all the way up in here into that space I don't mind that but then I don't want I don't want it covering up so I'm going to cut some of this off after I've punched my um, label bit so back to the um, envelope punch board or cut one out use this use a template and uh, cut one out with your knife and scissors and whatever you need there okay so, so but I'm going to do one here and I want to go do just a bit up, right about there. That's about an inch from the bottom. And I want it to 
So it'll fit in there, sort of, like that, like if that's the right size. It'll fit right about there. I'm going to end up cutting that off in there. Oh, I'm keeping that piece. I'm going to cut this off and I'm going to cut that off. So let me figure out how big I really want this. And I think I want it to go a little bit further down and come out right about it at that spot and that spot. So I'm going to adjust that and do the punching and then I'll show you. So I punched it and now I'm going to cut and I'm going to cut through both because I don't want it to extend over. So I'm going to cut through both um, the front and the back of this and not I'm just watching it for my little tab that I created. And then these should just pull off like that. And then I've got that piece there. So I'm going to just go straight through on that back as well. And um, then we end up with this file folder. Okay, so that's going to fit good. I'm going to go in round the, the corners. If you have a rounder, you can use the rounder. If you don't, you... Um, so that's going to fit in here. Something like this. So I'm alright with that. Okay, so as you work with yours, you'll you'll find that maybe it doesn't fit quite the way you want it. So you're going to do some different things. So that's all part of your embellishing. So I thought for myself that that was just one long piece. And I kind of only had these robins peeking. I want a little more of them peeking out. So I cut these, um, tab, this tab out as well. So that will also be good for showing that there's something that goes in there. Um, so also now I haven't tea stained this one so I've got to go tea stain that before I glue it in to there but we've got a little bit more still to do here all right so while that coffee staining is, is drying it's on that little file folder for the front there I'm going to glue in this elastic and it's a little loose right now I but I've got the knot on the inside so I can always tighten it or loosen it as I put more pages in or take pages out. So all I'm going to do is use the tacky because that's pretty good glue. And I'm just going to make sure that I've got that new little booklet on this side of the, the back folio, the piece of insert piece that we made. And then there's my back cover. So I just want to make sure that that's going to fit in there like that and it's going to fold nice. And this is the piece the elastic that I want on here. So I'm just going to stay on this side and glue that elastic down like this. I'm going to put a fair amount of glue on there. I want this to hold and I see I need to sneak under that a little bit because I don't want that to rip. So I'm just going to put a big gob of that on there. And like I said, I see I need a little bit of glue. I need a brush that's soft underneath the doily. Make sure that doily's stuck. And that doily's stuck. Okay, so then I'll take that elastic piece and stretch that over to that side. Okay, so you know, we're going to have to deal with that when we put it in the book, but it's not a big deal. I'm going to let it dry just a bit. Um, and then I'm going to probably add a little more glue on top of it to make sure it's good on the sides as well as on the bottom. And uh, get that in there. And then um, I'm one of these people that... Uh, I get some really bad back if I craft too long, and I always do. <laughs> I always craft too long. So I'm trying to um, take better care of myself and still be able to craft, because for a while there I wasn't doing it, and I thought, well, if I just manage it better, I should be able to do, I should be able to craft a little bit, 
when I feel like it. So I'm going to leave this, let this dry and take a break. And then we'll come back and we'll glue that into here, into our covers. And I'll show you how we're going to do that in a bit. Okay, so we are um, going to make a piece to go on there. And I, I have a piece of this glue backed, um, what is that called? Felt, a felt piece, and it's got a gluey sticky back. It's very sticky. So this is what I'm gonna use to bind that onto there and then bind this into our main cover. Um, so what I did first before I did that is I pulled that back a little bit and I put some, I have embroidered lace and I put a little strip of that on both of these ends to act like a headband on this piece once we get it to that point. So um, I don't want the sticky up yet on that page. I just want the fuzzy side, the felt fuzzy side. Now I had gone through and I put a bunch of um, uh, distressed paint gel medium. I put quite a bit on here um, on this binding edge and so that I've got lots down the side of that elastic and all through here. So it is very sticky. So I've put a good layer of that on there and then I'm going to take this felt piece and I'm going to put that's been cut to size and I'm just going to put that and I'm going to try and center that up center that book onto that piece all right and then I'm going to just you know, I got a little extra there, so I'm just going to wash it off. It's water soluble, so it's easy to wash. So I'm just going to, like I said, spread that and do a little bit of the uh, baby wipe on there. Just to break that extra glue down a bit, because I went over a little. But that'll deal with that. That's not a biggie. Okay, so that's got about an inch on that side. And it's got the booklet insert that we just made and it's got about an inch on this side and they're fairly fairly even i think that's pretty darn close so i'm just going to let that sit and dry on there it's on that one inch spine on that insert piece okay okay and the last thing i'm going to do before i leave this for a while to get good and dry is I cut that um, file folder piece out and tea dyed it and I added a little doily in there and that's a little damp right now but I'm going to just tack this piece down and all I want is this one side of that file folder the top edge and the bottom edge of this one piece of the folder I don't need I don't want to do the bottom and I don't want to do the inside. I just want to do the back top and the lower edges. And then I'm just going to stick that in there in place. Make sure I get it all nicely lined up. There it is, the one with the little robins on it. And that's just going to, I'm just going to leap, clamp that a little bit. And then I'm going to leave. Like I guess I make sure I'm right where I want to be, right where I need to be, and clamp that. Okay, so I've got those edges clamped for that file folder piece, and I've got this made sure that it's still in place. And, um, then I'm going to just prop up these sides so that this can dry with the weight down onto that 
new felt piece that we've added. All right, so that's um, that's it for now. So this is going to take a while. So um, I'll come back when it's dry and we'll put it into the cover. Okay, so my piece fell off. So I'm going to just put this piece in first and then I'm going to glue that again onto there. And I can measure my center there and make sure that I've got this. There's my center and there's my other. There's my two inches right there. So by the time that piece gets on there, it's not a lot, but I am a little crooked, so I'm just going to straighten it up a little bit better. Doesn't look that straight, but so that's just taking that over there a bit and over there a bit. So I'm going to try this, get that back in the center there. So I'm going to have that little bit there. Get a half inch. So when that comes across, that's going to go like that. And on this side, I've got the same thing. I've got a half, half on this side as well. Okay, so I'm going to try again to see if this will glue. Um, it's taking a while to glue on that felt, so um, I'm going to just try this and see if this might be a bit better for it to glue down. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to just carry on here with um, the little piece that Nick made. And um, I just took a box. She made a box. So I just found a box that's already constructed. She constructed one out of file folder. I just found one that's the right size. It's going to go right to the top of my book but it's narrower enough so I'm going to try this and um, see what she's going to do with it. I guess that's the thing is we never know until all the tutorial is done um, what she's used it for. So um, I'm going to just do the box this way, cut down a box to fit and if it's not going to work then I will make a box. They're fairly simple. Okay, so here's how I'm going to do it. Basically, I'm just going to cut a lot out of here. And I'm going to leave um, well, all the way around. I'm just going to cut the top off and cut it down so that it's about I don't know, a finger high, maybe a baby finger high. Did that baby finger get in there? Maybe a finger high. That would that be? That would be, oh gosh. Maybe half an inch, I think three quarters of an inch. So I'm going to cut this box and see how it turns out. So I figured the easiest way is to do that is just to deconstruct the box. And um, then I'll cut everything back down, mostly here, these two spines. And um, then I will put it back together. So I'm going to get my cutting board so I make sure, or I'm going to cut with the knife actually and measure. So I'm going to just make sure, I'm going to cut this a half here, the mark it, the pen. I'm going to go three quarters of an inch. This is a great old ruler, actually shows the three quarter mark right there. And then I'm going to go on this one, three quarters. side three quarters so I'm gonna cut this much out so I'm gonna make my marks all the way along And 
on. What did I do here? And I'm just gonna draw my lines. And draw my lines. And cut. I'm always hitting the wrong buttons. Okay, so um, here's what we have. And um, two pieces of cardboard. It's fairly large. I don't know if hers is actually this big, but um, this is what we got now. Easy enough to make if we need to. So hers just hinges. This, this piece here hinges on this piece here, like so. And then of course these little corners are all made up like a box and glued boxy like that all around and this is supposed to fit over that so this has got to be just a titch bigger it is just a titch 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 so i'm going to cover this with paper and this and this and this and then i'll glue this side to this side really well right there at that back and um probably use some of my tape on that and then we'll have a box all decorated so i'm gonna just cover it um and then i'll be back okay okay so the first thing i'm going to do is just get a lot of glue a lot of glue on this and um, attach it to the back flip on oh, the top piece. Now I could probably um, just manage it like this. Just get it in tight enough so that it's going to be able to still flip over. And it's a box. And then I found, I found a large piece that I might use. I might find something else. Um, keep, I'm still looking. Okay, so I found a piece of paper from a paper, um, paper block. It's by recollection, so I think that's Michael's. So it's a little um, bit heftier than that other um, paper that I was using. That was really flimsy. And this... I've got that extra little bit there. So it's a little bit bigger than 12 by 12. So if I use that little decorative, that strip that's supposed to be removed, I'll be able to cover this. And then it's just a little bit narrower. So let's hope for the best. I'm going to get um, the collage medium. And um, I better order another one because I use a lot of this. I think I'm going to just use this and get that onto here, paste that, because it's got to be pasted pretty good, and that's, this other stuff is not, um, I don't know if that's going to be good, I want something I can paint on, so let me find something and then I'll get this on. So I'm going through trying to figure out the blues, and I really don't want to use the rest of this, because it's all I've got, and I might need that before the new, the new stuff arrives, so going to save that and I'm going to mix Mod Podge and um, tacky glue um, one to one and that should be enough to spread and hold okay so that's um, half and half I'm just gonna paint the entire thing and put the paper on and um, yeah just threw out a large large bottle of um, art glitter glue today that was uh, just a frozen you know, during delivery and a total waste of money it was like well you know what that stuff costs it's way expensive to start with but anyway that's that's what we have to throw out today so I'm just gonna do this get on with it just gonna paint the whole thing and uh, smear it up all right and then put the paper on all right so I just did the top first and I got a nice layer of glue all over the entire business there. And um, 
I'm going to put the paper on and then I'll do the bottom. So I just lined up all the edges and sticking it down and rubbing it good. And uh, I'm going to actually use the credit card to get that all on there. I've got a little thingy there, but I'll figure out what we're going to do with that later. No, I'm not worried. Okay, and then I'm just going to do this other side here. Okay. So I'm just finishing up, making sure there's glue everywhere. And I'm curious. I'm wondering what we're going to be using this for. <laughs> and if this isn't going to work for the uh, lap book, I'll have a nice little box for something else. So I'm just going to do the same thing. I lined this edge up pretty close and all the way down. And on top. All along the edges. And I'm just going to clip this. And uh, we'll leave this to dry. Um, so I got a little bunch of little tiny clips somewhere. And uh, I use paper clips, whatever you need to do. I like the little clips when you're going on the edges. So I've got a box full. I'm going to get all those out. So I've got plenty. Go all the way around. So I'm going to just go all the way around and put these clips on. And Okay, so um, if you can see, I've got clips all the way around, except for this one side that I hadn't trimmed yet, because that was the paper was a little bit bigger. So I'm just going to do that so that I can put the clips on there as well. Okay, we're good. Clips all around. We've got little corners to cut out later. And um, then we can do the... Uh, creasing of the folds and uh, it's all on it's all looking great it's amazing what a piece of paper can do all right so um, I'm taking a break here and I'll be back when it's uh, give it a little bit so I'm just going to um, do some scoring of this board now cardboard and um, take off the little clips and line it up and make the score score it and score it I'm going to score it on the other side as well I'm going to start here just to get a little bit of an impression and um, then I'm going to turn it over and do the other side so you get a bit of an impression right there I'm going to do the other side. Be right back. So just remember to do all of your scores. All the way around. And uh, on all corners, all sides. So top and bottom. And get that in there. Oop, yeah. I want to see. It would work better if I lined up the groove. So there we go. So that's oops. Now I'm trying to travel off here. Oh damn! Gotta go slow with this. So all I'm saying is, make sure you um, do it this way, and then turn and make sure you get the other flaps. So um, what I did on my scoreboard is I found the marks and I black marked it so I can line up at the top and the bottom, and I knew. I'm in the groove, as long as I can see where the groove is supposed to be. So do that on all of these pieces. And then we should be okay to do it on this side or to fold it to make a box. Well, that was easier said than done, but I've made a bit of a, 
of a groove in there so it should help when I go to fold. So here's how I'm folding. I'm just bending it up and making that crease as I go. It's just helping a little bit to bend that and make the crease. So then I can do that. Push that down on that side and this side. And Tita. I really like to wait till the glue is dry before I bend anything. So I'm going to leave this a little longer. And I like it to just stay nice and flat. And when you start bending it before it's ready, you uh, end up with weird things like that, wrinkle. So I'm not gonna do anything more with these sides until this is all really good and dry. Really good and dry. Um, I think this is part four. So anyway, stay tuned to me and we will continue to make Nick's lap book. And I'm going to have to cover this. This is not finished yet. It's just drying, but I want, it needs time to dry. And I'm gonna, then I'm gonna cover it probably with some of these backdrop pieces that I've been saving and um, cover the top, the front for sure, the bottom possibly I'll just gesso it. So anyway, these should fit on there quite nice. They're just a bit small or a bit, the box is a bit narrower right there. So anyway, I should be able to cut these off or fold them over or something and they should look nice. Okay, guys, I'm going to let this dry. I want it to be able to have, I don't want two pieces trying to dry. I'm going to just dry the one side at a time and then I'm going to cover it with something. One of my backdrops, because I said that's why I, it was a point of this whole thing was to use up those backdrops. So I'm going to do that and um, I'll s post this and then I'll see you in the next um, part of next lap book. 2023 tutorial. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye. Okay, so um, we're back and our page is nice and dry. So I've just gone around and um, creased those folds over. And now I'm just pressing down this paper to make sure that it's nice and tight around the edges there. I had to cut out these little bits here. And um, there we go. There's our box in all its splendor. And um, all I have to do now is put these little pieces inside here and glue that and glue that. And then we have a little box. Oh, well, I've got to get these. I gotta I think I shouldn't have cut these out. I'm not I'm not sure. Um might have to add something in here but I might be able to just put tape around the edges so that anyway is going to close on top of like that and we have now a little box that is um, quite a bit smaller oops sorry I'm not getting too close to you there okay so that's what what we have and hopefully that's going to be the right size. This seems a little large to me, but um, I think it worked out pretty good. So I've got to put something on the front, and I'm going to just probably use this one. I may end up um, with something different. Uh, I'm not sure exactly. Okay, I think I'm going to use this piece because I like it. And I'm going to be able to fold it over on one side. Actually, I think I'm going to just cut it down, and then I'm going to use I'm going to use my um, tape that I used earlier, and uh, one of these linen tapes, and uh, probably this one. I'm not sure. Anyway, um, I'm going to figure out which one I want to use. Maybe that one, and um, get the box built. So I've glued that up again and now I've cut this piece that I'm going to use. I'm just going to put that on top of there. So this tape 
is just about the perfect size. So I'm just going to run that along. And um, press it down. And there's a nice little, little extra to go over that ridge at the top. Perfect. And I'm going to do the bottom. Okay, so uh, my camera keeps shutting off. I'm not sure why, but uh, anyway, we ended up with a little box that is a half inch all the way around the edges. I had to do a little bit of work to cut mine down because I had made it a little bit too big. So I cut it all down, and now it's a half an inch, and it opens like that. I've reinforced this bit inside here, and... Um, this is the bottom, goes over the top, closes up nice like that. I'm, I think we're going to just stick that right down so I'm not worried about decorating that. And that is going to go in the book, probably at the front or the back. I think she said she's going to put it at the back here. I think she said she wanted to do something back here. So anyway, I think that's going to go in there like that. And then we've got this piece that's um, going to come over and just cover it up nicely. And uh, yeah, then that'll close and that'll be in the book like that. I may have to do a little adjusting, but um, maybe I'll end up putting it in the front or something instead. We will see what she's going to do and then. Um, I will make mine uh, accordingly as to what makes it the best. But anyway, there you go. It's a half inch book box. Go in to go in the lap book. Lap book. And there it is. It's kind of cute. So decorated on the front and the sides. All around. And inside. Well, there's a day's work. <laughs> Jeez, I think I don't get paid by the piece. So, um, I think I did okay. So, thanks for watching, and I'm going to end here and um, try and catch up to Nick here with this piece. And um, we wait for her next video to do the next part. So, thanks again for joining me, and I will catch you later.